Live from Austin, Texas, USA, where the Texas Project weaponizes the algorithm, my da friend Dan Carlin says it's going to be a great night. Now, pay 50 bucks to gain access to your best friend's AI sexy tickle bot, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Bow down, down, bow, pick it up the mic. Two hand, march down, 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 do a push up. Here we go. Here we go. One, that's one. Two, two, three, these are real three, shit. Four. That's five. Five. Man. Six. I don't know if any of these seven. Count. That's eight. Yeah. I'm at ninety. I'm at ninety. I'm at ninety. Hooray for push up. No, you're at nine. Sorry. You uh, you did nine. Sorry, just so I, I wanted to correct you before you got that wrong. The, the only ones that count are the ones on the show, right? <laughs> That's what we agreed he earlier. Agreed or, or, yeah. No, is that yes or no? I mean, no, nobody agreed on anything. It's it's, uh, it's all very technical. My attorneys are looking at it. You've done ninety push-ups. Yeah. Because. Because uh, I value my health. And you want cardiovascular success. Success. How yeah. many push-ups does he have to do, Bri uh, Bryce? All right, counting retweets and quote tweets, which I believe are uh, part of the same thing. Uh. Uh, no? Oh, you gonna tell Dan Carlin to fuck I mean, off? I, 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 you gonna, you're gonna call Brian Brushwood called me and said, "Fuck <laughs> you." Quote tweets don't count. Have you ever have you ever heard a low budget uh, Kevin Smith? <laughs> That's Brian Brushwood calling me right now. Metaphors. He likes metaphors. That's why I like his. He stuff. loves it. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, anyway, we're looking at uh, uh, Brian said that he would do a push up for every retweet on the world's greatest con link, and he has done ninety what? 90. 90 even. 90 out of 414. Yeah. Six more, guys. Six more. Just need six more. I mean, uh, oh, counting. That's, 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 that's not an American institution. The devil's game. Uh, let's begin the show. We have a lot of show. We have a special guest yep, that's yep, on yep, a timer. Yep, yep, Brian's first topic. Oh, uh, uh, first topic. Founders Day Fun. <laughs> We'll start with this one, because we're not ready with the other thing. Uh, okay, heads up. We may have somebody calling in at any moment, so we may yeah. just bail on this story at any moment. But, <laughs> yeah. Founders Day was pretty good. Founders Day, so much has happened since Founders Day, it feels like last year. So much happened during Founders Day yeah. that it feels like last year. Yep. Uh, number one, and this is the biggest thing, if you have not come to a Founders Day, please make it your business to be here next year. It's going to be an amazing time. Uh, I, I am almost positive that's going to sell out. In fact, I, I would I would I would imagine that a presale would probably eat up a large uh, majority of the tickets uh, if you were to do it like today. But uh, the 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 event was amazing. It ran amazingly uh, well. A big round of applause for Annalisa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and everybody else who had and Jeff. Jeff. Uh, Woo, and Jeff. Jeff. Uh, we also had Brant and Heather there. Hey! Yay! Yeah, uh, uh, everything was so well run, not only on an event side, but also on the audiovisual side. The the show sounded great with uh, uh, Ice Cream Social and us late into the evening. The, Everybody had just a blast and a half. There was a wonderful moment where I was chatting with Jacob, and uh, I, you know, I explained to him, like, hey... We're just trying to figure out, like, like we have, you know, roughly 120, 130 people there. Uh, I, we think we're going to try to keep everything on campus. We're not going to go over to the other facility. We're going to do it all, all here. Uh, and and as I stand on this porch, I look out, and I could picture 300 to 500 people out there. Uh, I suspect it'll work. It did work. Uh, and and uh, 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 wait. Hold on. There's laughing going on behind the cameras. The crew, the crew that put it on, uh, is I, I assume laughing at the, the 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 difference between Emperor Brian waving his hands and a, a an event that got created. 
Everybody's important. Everybody's important. That's not the important part of the story. The important part of the story is, uh, after explaining all this to, to Jacob, he was like, okay, I think we can work with this. But then, like, at the end of the night, Jacob was like, oh, my God, I see it. All you have to yeah. do, rebuild this deck, have an apron that comes out, put a monitor over here, put a thing over here, and then this is a venue. Call it the porch, and you can... I'm like, aha, you see it too. Thank you, Annalisa. Yes. <laughs> no, it was uh, 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 just just a super, super, super special day. Thank you to everybody who came out. What, what's your biggest Founders Day memory? Oh, my God. Uh, uh, the fact that I was not tricked into accidentally winning the game that I insisted everybody play a tournament of at Founders Day. Oh, you would have been so bad. Oh, no, I would have. Oh, I would have. Oh, no, Brian. Oh, no, bad. I would have. It was a seven-foot trophy with his face on it. He would have been <laughs> so bad. I mean, that would have been oh, legit no. the most horrifying thing ever. Oh, my God. Could <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> Brian would have been so sad. <laughs> Uh, eh. I was I was happy to wash out. I think it was better for you to wash out. I was happy that I, I lost think, to a twelve year old. I don't think that you were upset that you made it to the final table. I w I was not. I, I <laughs> if, as a matter of fact, I was very happy that at least one of us was represented at the final table. I was very glad that Matt Donnelly of the Ice Cream Social yep. Podcast was there at the final table. I was very a glad a literal twelve year old was a there. literal twelve year old yeah. who fucking. Cold as steel yeah. eyes. She was there to play. Yeah. Adria uh, yeah. shouts out. That was amazing. Yes. No, she was she was great. Also, shouts out to the person who actually won Waffle Off against the Big Waff. Big Waff. Everybody. Big, waff. Yeah. big round of applause for uh, Waffle Off uh, against one of the OGs. That that was kind of like a uh out of school call to make because there there's a desire to over prepare for all of these things to over program everything and and i felt a little bit worried when i told the team i'm like how about this two hours at the beginning three hours at the end everything else unstructured and it's like that's scary because it's like well won't everybody just leave if nothing's happening and i'm like well we'll play this game i'm pretty sure it'll be good turns out it was very very good yeah. it was extraordinarily uh an extraordinarily great vibe like the whole time it didn't feel like you were ever rushing anything felt like everybody was there for the uh uh for for, for the entertainment possum posse came out mm -hmm. and they performed like i've seen them do ironic covers uh, uh not to say that it's ironic like, how they perform it no, but no, performance, novel novel covers. novel covers like like of, they, of like, they rap, do like rap, rap songs. songs and everything but I had never seen them just do a straight out rock cover, and then they did uh, uh, "Just Like Heaven" by The Cure, and they had a a bit of a different bass player, Brian. Okay, uh, I did not know this was coming. Uh, I did not know that. I don't. I don't know anything about how Bonnie brought it up. I don't know how anything happened internally at the Possum Posse as they discussed it. All I know is that my 15 year old daughter just, you know, got called up from the audience grabbed her bass, and rocked the cure, played by the Possum Posse. Yeah. And it was maybe one of the best moments of my entire life. It was incredible. So I had, I mean, if you had no idea, I had less than no idea. Like, there was a, a only only minutes prior, uh, I was I was playing uh, Jenga, gigantic, like, bar Jenga. <laughs> with Callie. With Callie <laughs> and Josie. Uh, and then all of a sudden, Josie's up on stage, and she's playing the bass line for, for, for the cure. Uh, how did that come together? Uh, I, I, I assume, from what I've been able to piece together, Bonnie just floated the idea to Jomo. Jomo, being cool as hell, was like, yeah, yeah we know that song. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and then just uh, up she went, and then she played bass, and because it's one of the songs that she's been practicing, she uh, and, and somebody pointed out in uh, the comments that when there's no drums, the bass player is, is really is the, the leader. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so the fact that she was able to pull that off was great. Which, by the way, that was part of it, is that uh, they the, the, the posse is currently in between drummers because their longtime drummer, uh, uh, Ruthless Chris Steakhouse, yeah. has moved out of state. And so they are auditioning people, and, and they were going to bring a drummer, according to Jomo, but then they're like, 
I don't know. We play a bunch of weird shit when we're here with 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 our crew. So like, uh, maybe next year we'll Everybody bring the newbie. Everybody was all in. Uh, Everybody but was that all meant in. That, that 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 Josie had the had the the responsibility to do it, and and it came off amazing. It was truly truly magical. It was uh, unbelievable. Um, uh, the uh, the rest of the night was amazing. I found out at the very end of the night. Uh, oh, uh, among other things that happened during the day, uh, quietly our friends at Ice Cream Social just. Whoopsie Doodle got themselves a number one comedy album on both yep. iTunes and uh, Amazon, including the number one Amazon full stop uh, album. And we found out today that they are the number nine comedy album on the Billboard charts, but that is still extraordinarily impressive because we believe it's probably based on like a day's worth of data, uh, a, a one day or two days worth of data. So they have a really good shot at being higher than that the next week, and that is going to be amazing this to is see. The I mean, they're taking it pretty easy. Yeah, Matt was <laughs> leaning against a tree. As as uh, you heard in, in, in the episode, if you only listen via podcast, I very much encourage you to go to both Brian and I's uh, Twitter accounts because we posted pictures of, of Matt Donnelly looking about as cool as he possibly can, leaning against a tree. Who knew that was the one thing he needed to look... <laughs> Uh, as cool even as cooler possible. yeah is a tree yeah uh to lean on and and we talked about it during the show but there was definitely like a vibe where that uh, i don't know how much of it was because matt and i were at the final table of the skull tournament or what have you but boy oh boy did matt and i both appreciated it when justin and paul started being funny and both of us kind of like i literally laid down you laid down on the yeah. stage yeah and and matt made love to a tree uh, well, there we go. That is Founders Day. Please, 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 everybody, go ahead and uh, put it on your calendars for next year. April 8th. It is going to happen, and it's going to be a big fucking the deal. The eclipse, yep. Uh, would... and, and there will be, like, a practice run of the annular eclipse that happens on October 14th. Well, so be, should... Yeah, make, make that make that your business. Uh, uh, but we do have another topic, right, Bryce? Uh, that's right. Let's uh, Someone keep me for the sound. Bryce, next topic! Ali Kurt! Wow! Welcome Whoa. to the show, Ali Kurt! <laughs> Ali Kurt, it is so good to see you. Um, uh, uh, my goodness, uh, 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 I guess uh, former editor in chief of Mad Magazine? Question mark. Oh. Otherwise, I have a very faulty memory. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Uh, 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 Ali, you have a, a an amazing project that is rounding the bend here on Kickstarter. What is it? Uh, I am making a Nine Inch Nails cover album. Uh, I'm really excited about it. It's called Nine Inch Nails Peeled Back. Um, so <laughs> if you like Nine Inch Nails or don't like Nine Inch Nails, there's a chance you'll like it because it doesn't really sound like Nails uh, songs, but it's uh, kind of softer versions. You guys were talking about like novelty covers. I wouldn't say it's quite novelty, but it's definitely a trip. Well, uh, as we've talked about before, I'm a huge, huge fan of mashups and remixes and anything that that is being presented in a way where it's not, you know, wasn't originally intended to be. Uh, what What flavors are we combining right now with this album? I would say that it's kind of uh, Lana Del Rey, Amy Mann, Chaos Chaos meets Nine Inch Nails. Uh, is there, I, I, I don't know what we've prearranged. Uh, is there a chance we can hear something? Uh, I don't know. You ask, I can, why are you looking I can send at me? You guys Look at stuff. her. <laughs> um, I could also just sing an acoustic version. Um, yes. Oh, That's yes. always possible. Otherwise, I'll send you guys uh, a little file right now if you guys want to play uh, something. Well, I'll tell you what. While you're doing that, I'm going to take a long time to tee up <laughs> the fact that... You got it. You, you, are, you are following <laughs> through on the initial part of your promise. It is certainly taking longer than it would yep. <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. Wait, wait, all that. No, we're plugging her thing. <laughs> Go to Kickstarter, <laughs> search Ellie Gertz, and go find her Nine Inch Nail. It's called Ellie Gertz, N-I-N, peeled uh, back up. Uh, well, well, Brian's doing a push-up. Allie, let me ask you this. You've previously been, na been named Cosby Sweater, and you did a Rick and Morty cover album. Why would you do this to Trent? <laughs> you know, it's, um, I was 
as worried I'm, uh, I am the reason that every bad man does bad things. Um, so I'm sorry for that. It's my fault. Uh, sorry in advance. <laughs> well, I'm going to love this album because I love Nine Inch Nails and I love your music. So it is going to be amazing to hear. Uh, but if something awful happens, I will be blaming you and there'll be scientific evidence to prove that it's your fault. <laughs> it's all recorded. That is my fault. That is my fault. I take full accountability every time. <laughs> uh, uh, so the, one of the most uh, fascinating things that I remember about your Kickstarter video is that you had really not been into Nine Inch Nails until recently. Like you, you weren't the person with, with, a, with, a, with a pretty hate machine uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 safety pinned onto your backpack. Uh, how, right. did, how did all that come together? Yeah, it's crazy. I genuinely did not know um, consciously like what songs were Nine Inch Nails. I knew Trent Reznor as a composer, but I just fully missed out on Nine Inch Nails growing up, which is crazy. But um, I was shown them by a friend who was like a Nine Inch Nails fanatic, a piggy, if you will. I basically just got obsessed. I was like going through a really rough patch, which is a great time to get into Nine Inch Nails. Mm -hmm. And I just became fanatic to the point that I wanted to share these songs with everybody in my life. But most people that I know don't like kind of heavier music and would be like really put off by some of the layers. So it gave me the idea of kind of stripping back some of these um, qualities of Nine Inch Nails and making them a little bit softer, a little bit more pretty. Um, and there's something really cool about hearing Trent Reznor's lyrics in a female... Well, it, especially because Trent, uh, especially in the early 90s, presented as, as such, you know, masculine and an angry energy. Uh, and of yes. course, you know, his work is known for incredible production values. Uh, the closest to what I'm hearing that you're aiming for is uh, the Johnny Cash Hurt cover that he did, right? Where, where, where that, that's the, that, that was the only time I know of that Nine Inch Nails I saw kind of reduced down to core elements. Yeah, which is funny because, Allie, where are you right now at on your Kickstarter goals list? Because there is one of them <laughs> that will have you covering that, which you don't want to cover. Yes. Okay. So I did not want to cover Hurt because it's already owned by two icons. You know, it's Johnny Cash and Trent Reznor. I kind of figured there's nothing I could possibly add to it. And so I really, you know, hemmed and hawed over it. And I decided to make it a stretch goal. Um, we have fortunately slash fortunately made that stretch goal. So I am currently in the middle of my Hurt cover. And I have to be honest, it's pretty good. I'm actually quite pleased. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty yeah. stoked on it. <laughs> so wait, are we cleared through on, on all your stretch goals or? No. Okay, so we're like $5 away from 35000 which will make me able. These are all horrible Nine Inch Nails puns, by the way. That is a promise from Allie Gertz every time you get a horrible pun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> including, there's a t-shirt that says you get me closer to Gertz. Um, horrible. <laughs> Just horrible. That's it. That's that shit right there. That's that um, shit. But the, the biggest stretch goal, which... You know, we'll see. There's only one day left. Is um, if I reach forty thousand, um, I'm actually going to cover all of Pretty Hate Machine from top to bottom. Oh um, so, <laughs> I uh, I think that could be pretty fun. I don't know if we'll make it. It would be a lot of Nine Inch Nails. Uh, it would only go out to Kickstarter backers. So if you're interested in that, um, please consider donating. So we're uh, we, it looks like we're past thirty five now. Yay. Oh great! So, Thanks, so, guys. So so <laughs> now that is that is cleared. Uh, five thousand more. I don't know. The entire Stranger album. things have I, happened. Yeah. Uh, 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 how, how much longer do you have on it? I think I have like 20 hours left or 30 hours left. What's it say on there? 37, 37. hours. I think maybe, maybe uh, we can do it. The last, last 24 hours, I think, I think you might have a shot at it, and I'm Ooh. going to be very excited. I am a backer. Please, folks, be like me and back the Allie Gertz Nine Inch Nails Peeled Back Project. Uh, Brian? Uh, I, I, you, I, do you want to do some more push? Uh, Allie, you know that you know Brian what? is uh, doing push-ups because oh, okay. he made a bet oh, on the right. internet? I, I shouldn't have done that. Do you I want saw to listen? that. I love it. Do I'm you, very... <laughs> do we want to listen to a clip while Brian does yes. the Yes. 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 Okay, I'm, I'm at 100. Although do them slower now because that's Thank like the goodness. tone of the that's music. That's the reason yeah. I'm doing them slower. Yeah. Okay, this yeah. is the first day of my last days. To zoom in, if there's any way that Built we can. It up, now I take it apart, climbed up real high, now fall down real far. <laughs> Never want this moment to end. No need for me to stay. The last thing left, I just threw it away. <laughs> zoom in closer. I put my faith in God and my trust in you. Now there's nothing more fucked up I could do. 
<laughs> Keep going. There's is more there of the song. Something real? Is there something Brian can true? barely. He's struggling. His arms are like noodles. It's 110 people. There we go, everybody. A round of, a round of applause. Whenever Brian oh. goes down for a push-up, we will continue to play <laughs> Ali Gertz's Nine Inch Nails uh, uh, cover. Uh, Ali, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, uh, so much uh, for uh, 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 coming what, on. What's the best way? What's the best URL? Like, is there a clever shortcut? Or should uh, we just look up? Kickstarter.com. And uh, yeah, spell out Ali Gertz. Search Nine Inch Nails or Peeled Back or Ali Gertz. Um, pr pretty easy to find it. Um, I was hoping that you would uh, uh, do push-ups long enough to get to me singing uh, the word fist fuck. Um, uh, you, you, you know what? I'm, I'm so glad you brought this so up because I was brag. just thinking after those 10 push-ups, what I really want is to do 10 more. To do 10 more push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Okay. Well, wait, no, no. This will be a running bit. Like yeah. now, now it'll be a big thing, and when we get to the fist fuck part, everybody will jump up and down. Everybody, and scream. please cheer. Fist sure. fuck. Exactly. That'll sure. make me okay, so happy. Okay, here we go. I'm, 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 I'm laying down for push-ups. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want? Oh, you're gonna do it. All right, Bryce, I, 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 cue it up. I, I, okay, okay. Cue it up. Right. I was trying I'm to save you, but you apparently don't want to. I'm the one with this big fucking hole. That's <laughs> 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 It just. He collapsed no. on big fucking hole, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. For audio listeners, he just like like an elephant sat on his back. That's how fast he went down when <laughs> when the songbird Ali Gertz said That's big fucking hole. That's one hundred and eleven people. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh my God! Allie, someone said we, Brian we, and Snails. I like that. Uh, Brian and Snails. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, Allie, we pick you. Promise to play your music every time I do a push up. Um, uh, uh, thank you so much for being a friend of the show, and and yes. uh, congratulations on the massive, massive success. We're very, very excited for you. Exactly. Oh, thanks, guys. Really great to see you. Always in your corner, Allie. Ladies and gentlemen, the Allie lovely and talented Allie Gert. Bye. I'm just going to do one more push-up. Here we go. <laughs> just to get to 102? Well, I mean, just so that Bryce has to play the music yeah, again. Yeah, play the music again. Yeah, there we go. Six years on my way to hell. That's, that's 112. It's going to be even funnier because we'll see how slow it takes to get through <laughs> one two-minute song. <laughs> As the amount of push-ups you do per interval continues to shrink. Uh, Bryce, oh next topic. Our next topic. Jeep Adventure. Woo! By the way, all right, I am I am uh, almost exclusively an audio podcast listener, and I would not do this to you, fellow exclusive audio podcast listeners, unless it was greatly, greatly valuable to you. But go watch this episode on YouTube yes. and just get to, as Brian is doing the push-up, Bryce slowly desaturates the picture <laughs> so it becomes a black and white Nine Inch Nails video. Uh, amazing. Please go see that. Uh, Brian, for your birthday... <laughs> No, anniversary. So, That's so it. 25 For year, your anniversary. 25 year anniversary. 25 year anniversary. Yeah, yeah. You guys uh, uh, went out and did a fun adventure. There was a wonderful moment. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, first of all, this place was farther away than Bonnie thought. So, she's like, I got the kids out the door. Let's go. I'm like, you do realize it's two hours away. And she's yeah. like, what? I thought it was one hour away. And we looked and nope, it's two hours. So, we had a white knuckle in the middle of a rainstorm. Because oh. it was pouring. Rushing out there. It was pouring. Uh, uh, Bryce uh, uh, just came over to my place because I'm like, eh, there's no reason for both of us to drive in, yeah. in in the rain. So we just came over to my place so we could do the bones. Yeah. Uh, what was this adventure? Uh, all I knew is that it was a Jeep adventure. And all I knew was that Bonnie said, uh, we have to be there by 9 Uh it is mandatory to be there for the orientation. It, there's, I, I assume, some amount of safety stuff that makes it make sense where it's like, we will turn you away, right? Bonnie, terrified of being turned away. We rush out there, uh, like, a, uh, I don't know, an hour 40. We show up like 9.27, enough, close enough where it's like they, they wouldn't feel good taking our money and saying, get bent, you showed yeah. up too late. But... Late enough that they're annoyed. We maybe didn't 
hear the orientation gotcha. part. Gotcha, okay. Right? Uh, uh, and so um, all I know is there's going to be one trail thingy, uh, then a break and food, and then they're going to show us how to use a winch and then another trail thingy, right? So the first trail thingy, like, uh, whatever. We show up, and we're not turned away. So it's like, hey, sorry, we took a wrong turn, things. And, of course, there's, like, no signal out there in the middle of nowhere. Uh, turns out, have you ever been out to Enchanted Rock? Uh, I have not, no. Turns out there's a lot of majestic rocks near Enchanted Rock. Mm. Enchanted Rock is a great, great park to go visit. In fact, we should maybe make an outing and we'll all go. Yes. But there's private property around it with other enchanting rocks. Enchanting <laughs> rocks, yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, 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 and as we're going out on the first thing, we look over and somebody on the CB radio is like, uh, hey, look over to the right. There's a giant mountain over there with a Jeep on top. We look over and sure enough, there's a giant, you know, giant boulder with a Jeep on top. We're like, that's cool. So we go through, you know, we go through, so we learn about how uh, 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 tires, bumper, lights, you know, like uh, you can probably go across rivers if they're up to the bumper, probably not if it's above the lights, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, so we go do it. And the whole adventure is you drive your Jeep and then you eventually hit, you know, you encounter a wall and then the Jeep in front of you just drives over the wall. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then you just... Drive over the wall. Yeah. And, and, and meanwhile, there is a, a, a guy there who's spotting who is like, you know, driver side, passenger side. And, and it's basically, it's almost like a cat kind of crawling. Like, like he's able to point out, get on this rock, get on that rock, get up, get over. Uh, all of these Jeeps, all of these Jeeps have been bought in the last three years. <gasps> My Jeep <laughs> is 11 years old. My Jeep veteran has street tires. Mm. My Jeep is a manual. So yeah. like half of the explanation is like, press this button to do the thing. Press yeah. this other button to do the thing or whatever. Turns out out of the 30 plus people on this Jeep adventure, there are three of us driving a manual transmission. Mm. I am the only one rocking street tires. Uh, it's raining. Uh, we, oh. <laughs> we, we, we pull up and, and I'm like, hey, uh, just how embarrassing is should I be like right now? And and the guy's like, eh. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He's like, eh, they're just explaining what all the buttons do for the people who paid all that stuff. And I'm like, but but I'm okay to. And the guy's like, <laughs> so I'm like, I, okay. I will say, and this is something that I I only know because there is a lot of action oriented stuff that happens in Florida, and when you meet the people that actually are taking you out on boats or bringing you down scuba diving, you realize they're they, they've basically... They've seen some shit. Well, and they're basically construction workers who figured out a better gig. Like, they're not exactly the most, like... They're not... <laughs> on, on, on Well, just on the spectrum, and shout out to all construction workers, like, like everybody's making a living, and these guys figured out a gig that doesn't involve hauling shit, uh, but not exactly detail oriented scientists <laughs> right like they are they are they are there for adrenaline they are there to move things forward that that you need to have that personality to have that kind of job but they're not exactly like well let me get take some gauge and i'll check your treads and like that that's not that's not the peace of mind you're gonna get from that dude you're gonna get what you got which is eh. yeah so uh uh one of the things they say before we start the first journey is they're like so it's going to be about an hour and a half so if any of you know any jokes just feel free to you know let, let's all chat and so i think to myself like oh crap do i know a joke do i know a joke and i'm like uh uh did you tell paul's joke no uh i i i, I had that in my back pocket <laughs> <laughs> but i did tell ryer's joke do you remember ryer's joke? i don't know uh hey annalisa what do you call it when you mash up an angry uh, uh, sheep with a depressed cow? I don't know, but it's in a bad mood. <laughs> That's exactly the response <laughs> it got on the radio. <laughs> oh, so you're doing it on the radio. I'm trying. God, look, joke. We're, we're the assholes who shut up late in street tires uh, and skip most of the orientation. Uh, so uh, I, 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 I am the first one in line. We drive up to... God damn it. <laughs> 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 
so wow. quickly. Brian, so face quickly. down in black and white with the Grand Theft Auto nailed, <laughs> superimposed on it. So uh, we, we go on the first adventure, and we get to the very last part, and I am the first person in line after this guy just, you know, draw, d- drives a tank over a wall, and, and he's like, this way, that way, and meanwhile, I'm manual transmission, and so I stall out once, and I, oh, I, I, I make it happen, and eventually I get over, and, uh, like, while I'm doing it, somebody on the chat says, yeah, we're all hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and so I feel all of the pressure. I feel terrible. We make it through the first thing. Because like you're the runt keeping everybody up. Uh, well, I'm, 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 yes, yes. Uh, the thing you just said, 100% accurate. Yeah. Yeah. So we eat food. We see uh, the, 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 the winch instruction is literally traumatic because we tried to pull down a tree with ropes. Yep. And I found out just how deadly an idea that was. Yes. And I, and I had a oh, full on. This time? Yeah. Now you just found that out. What? No, I, I, no, no he, I mean, like, he was like, using no, a winch. It's an hour long was... lesson Can we please on listen to the just podcast? how dangerous winches are if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. And then they tell a story winch, about a please. dipshit who uh, 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 hooked up a rope to a, 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 a trailer hitch and then backed up. And the trailer hitch popped off oh. and exploded through the window and killed him instantly. So I have a minor panic attack. And so we're About fine. winches. Well, the winch uh, situation. Mainly the winch killed. situation is building up within you. Yeah. Anyway, we get to a point where Bonnie and I are like, I don't know, do we just want to call it? Oh, this is an anniversary, silver anniversary thing or whatever. And then, uh, and then I say, you know what? Let's go on the second adventure and just see what happens. And before I say anything else, Bryce, I sent you a file of mm-hmm. Bonnie justifying her response. We want to start with that and not the yes. Second? Start start with Bonnie's uh, response, and then and then we'll we'll, we'll get there. Nine winch nails. <laughs> Well, you see, I have my own experience driving the Jeep. And I'd say it's much different than Brian, who drives who it every day. Who put this music on? After all, <laughs> it is a standard. And I stall out just about every time hey. I'm in the car. <laughs> Not that time of day. <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. If I'm going up a tiny hill, I go chug a lug and it's done. Chug a lug and done. I sent this picture to Brian many times, telling him how his tire needed to be repaired. I don't know. When I saw this picture in the manual, I thought, uh oh. And just look so, at that curve that that guy is going to go down. See how the guy in yellow is leaning? It might be a tipping point. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Bonnie's look at this guy. <laughs> well worth it. All right, thank you for your Facebook. This video, is Bonnie. an amazing like. <laughs> that's like like when they threw the Apple presentations to Johnny Ive. Like that was. <laughs> what a what a what a Bonnie more Bonnie's world vlogs. Uh, yes, I want please. I want more of that on the show. So we decided to embark on this thing. Bonnie does not know that I've recently uh, changed the tires. However, I do know the following things. Uh, number one, there's been a recall on the airbags for years. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't gotten around to doing the thing. Number two, I mean, I'm pretty sure the brakes are fine. <laughs> and then uh, we, we get ready to go up this hill. And uh, uh, the video we want, Bryce, is, I believe, four minutes long. I and got it. Most of it. Okay. So we get to... Uh, as we're starting the second adventure, I say, yeah, I think this one ends on top of that mountain where, where the Jeep in the sky is. And Bonnie says, oh, no, 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 we're not. Go- that's not. No. <laughs> and, I, and then we keep on going. It's like, yeah, I no, think we're, uh, we're going all the way up. And then we get to like the bottom of the Joe. mountain. And then yeah. uh, I was like, yeah, no, I think I think we're going up. And she's like, yeah. 
maybe I'll, I'll get out. Um, I was like, no, no, get video of this. This is going to be great. Uh, Bryce, do you have that video as we yeah. climbed the mountain? Oh my god, don't I don't like roller coasters. Nice. Yeah, well Okay. I guess uh, <laughs> I mean Bonnie is straight is like, up not having a good this time. Is a road. This is level. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, to be honest, it's a. Uh, just just a little bit more than some streets in uh, San Francisco. You know, this is a good point. And you don't have the California... Bryce, Kings can you pause it? So, just just, we, to, just for, for uh, the, the audio <laughs> listeners here, uh, the, the sheerness of the cliff when you're looking at it in video betrays the eyes because it does not look that straight up and then as soon as bonnie pans over to brian it, he his back is <laughs> as far back as when you are taking off in an airplane like so the the the, the jeep is tilted like 90 degrees uh, 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 and, and so you can understand why bonnie is freaking out keep going <laughs> so are we Yeah, we're on it. 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 There is nothing but panicked blue jeans. That is the only visual that you are missing if you are an audio listener. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 <laughs> From here on out, it's pretty much Lamaze breathing. Yeah. <laughs> and me laughing in the background <laughs> until we make it all the way up to the top of the mountain. Uh, uh, hoo boy, she didn't like that. The only thing that I got from Bonnie about <laughs> this adventure was just a video that I, I have to imagine was you guys coming on the way down because there was a lot of like, you know, unclenching of fists, yes. adrenaline, laughing, and released giggling. energy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm assuming that was on the way down from from the mountain. Yeah, here's the part that Bonnie doesn't know. Um, I pressed on those brakes as hard as I could, and we were still going down. Oh. And so I quietly grabbed that e-brake <laughs> and just sort of slowed us <laughs> as we went down. Thought about them airbags that I'm about to get replaced. Get replaced, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, it was a truly remarkable adventure. Uh, Bonnie was legit terrified. Uh, shouts out to Bonnie. That's hey! all I Uh, Bryce, next topic. Our next topic. <laughs> World's greatest cunt. Yeah. Hooray! I legit, like, we had so much packed in the A block. All I've done is try to stop you from talking about World's Greatest Cunt <laughs> for a fucking eight months span. And now we're in hour two of the A block. <laughs> and we're just beginning to talk about it. What are your What are your thoughts on... The release of World's Greatest Con, uh, two episodes out right now. Find it on the podcatcher of your choice. As we record this right now, we are number four in history. We are ahead of our, our, our good friend Dan Carlin, who tweeted out wonderful things and made me do a push-up. Uh, the uh, number four in history is a curious spot because on the one hand, hooray, but on the other hand, uh, should we try harder? I don't greedy. know. Greedy. Greedy. Uh, I mean, certainly, yes, we should celebrate, right? But, 
Oh, just seems like we're very close. Greedy. I mean, it, it is it is a significant history is not not quite politics and it's not quite news in terms of the busiest categories on iTunes. But right. if you look at the top two hundred, like the a lot number, of history. Yeah, the number one history I believe is thirty four on on the charts, and the rest of them are all news and politics, maybe sports too. Uh, but but yeah no we're we're in a pretty busy category and we're punching way above our weight because we are not wondery we are not a a gigantic out of the box box success and we don't do episodes often right, right. We, we do episodes we do seasons, really like right, right, once right. do a season once a year to, uh, to be honest we sort of follow in the footsteps of Dan Carlin who will just say nothing and then show up with an audio book and then yeah. vanish again. No, Carlin, Carlin is a legend. We're pussies compared to Carlin. Carlin is just like, like I talk about what I want. Here's <laughs> nine hours about Japan. <laughs> <laughs> like, and everyone's like, Meh, yes, please. <laughs> like everybody no, no, puts no. down making their model ship and just fucking adores him. And as do we, because uh, he is the Don. He is the God of our, of our genre, of our storytelling genre. Yeah, no, he's definitely the goat. Uh, we've been, uh, there, there was, uh, I may be talking a little bit out of school, but when it came down to the wire on Saturday, we had to do final polish on the first two episodes that yeah. we were going to release. Cause we knew we wanted to do two episodes right out the gates. One that set the world, the second that set the story, uh, which meant if there was ever any, last minute anything that anybody had any notes about at all ever this was the day uh, and we sat right over there and our workflow was okay your note brian this time this thing what up and then i'd, I'd be like yeah no I, let me try a thing and then i i you know you'd get a hold of the file and then you assemble it right in front of me we did ads in in this weird in the round thing uh there, this was not on purpose because we did. We, there was no other different way for us to go faster. Correct. But normally, what happens is that Brian will record. I will take that back to my hovel and then, you know, tink, 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 like make the podcast away from Brian because we were against it. And this is just final polish on it. Brian had to record, then record while I'm watching him. Right. Then upload it and then listen to himself having just recorded while I edit through and, and change stuff. I, I, I was wondering how, how you, how you took that. I think it's safe to say that both of us were miserable. <laughs> uh, neither of us thinks, thinks that's a great workflow. Uh, I'm glad we did it. Uh, it, it. We ended up sanding down some edges and, no, and it I was think good. The, and we're going to do project. it again. We're going to do it this week. So, oh yeah. No, uh, apparently uh, and, that's and, our new workflow. And, and, and the week after that, but, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Fun things about the first episodes that were released. Uh, uh, number one, I believe his recommendation for world's greatest con. Who's and You guys can pronounce pal. Uh, this is intentional. Uh, the, uh, uh, you guys can fact check me, but I believe we may have been responsible for the first time ever. Teller did tweet thread. First ever, ever. Teller tweet thread. Yeah, I'm, in pretty, history. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure. Never strung two tweets together and we're pretty positive that we were the, the ones that got him to do it. Yeah. Also, he definitely at first tweeted the wrong link that we had to That's fix fine. that. That's fine. Oh, okay. Come on, all right, all right, all right. Come on. greedy, greedy, greedy. Uh, <laughs> No, 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 no. Thoughts about the episodes? Anything, anything that you remember from creating stuff that turned out to be episode one or episode two? Uh, if 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 we're opening our hearts right now, I will say that I remember. First of all, this is the first story that we went and got first person sources. It's the first time that we traveled to go do a thing. Uh, I remember being very, very pleased with everything we got from our friend Banachek, but we knew Banachek. Uh, I remember going to visit Mike Edwards, somebody who. We suspected we would have to win over his trust. It was fucking so hot. It was very Phoenix. hot. I tried. Very I tried to get a strip club to send us a limo. Yes. Uh, the, uh, uh, 
True Believers, go back to Night Attack episode. <laughs> bah, 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 where Brian was so frustrated with the rental car situation that he tried to badger a titty bar to send a limo. Yeah. Excelsior! <laughs> Not going to make you wear the helmet. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, but, oh, but, but, fucked it up. But, but after the interview with Mike, I remember there was just this, like, simultaneously two feelings. One, holy fucking shit, this story. Like, nobody's told it this way. This is what appears to be in front of us. Tempered by an exhausted, frustrated Justin who realizes how many months editing he's about to have to do because we've been handed a giant gold brick. The work wasn't the problem. The expectation that I was putting on us and, and the project uh, was what I was feeling at that time because... It's one thing to get a good story. It's one thing story that you put effort into. A lot of podcasts, and I don't want to go into which ones or whatever, but like there's stories that you know, and they get a bunch of talking heads to repeat shit that the narrator could have said probably better because you are more bound to the narrator than you are to the random talking head. And like that's work, right? Because you you sense the effort, you sense the idea. Oh, you looked up a person. And so if it's like, a different voice saying, in 1984, there was a light bulb in a store. Like, if it's somebody else, it's like, what you have to understand about 1984 is that there were a lot of light bulbs in stores. We, we, we called the store. Uh, hello, am I doing this right? Uh, hello, check, check, oh, store. No, we're doing, <laughs> <are you? laughs> Brian's doing the thing that he knows. He knows I fucking hate. I hate. I despise. Despise. If it the, never happens again, store, it guy. will be too soon. <laughs> the fucking thing in every Netflix doc and in every <laughs> podcast where they have to do the like. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, oh. <laughs> is it okay? It, uh, I shouldn't. I should put yeah, down my no, drink. No, yeah, I should uh, put down no, my drink. You're doing. Uh, 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 this oh. is a radio thing, so uh, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Is this good? All Am right. I too close? This is Justin Robert oh. Young. <laughs> Am I too close? <laughs> He's reenacting the thing he hates most in every podcast. Oh, no. I'm Brian Brushwood. Just because you did it on This American Life in 2003 doesn't mean you should need to do it for fucking ever <laughs> in every podcast forevermore. Anyway, it was they a were trying lot to be of positive. <laughs> We they all wanna, agree it was a lot of work. We don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. All right. Uh, uh, episode two, it includes a thing called the Psychic Hurricane. If you listen to it, you'll know. Uh, it was one of the moments where it's like listening to the interviews. You knew that this was going to end an episode. You knew that this was going to be an emotional turning point. Uh, one of the people that I kept sending clips to is Darren Kitchen, our friend from Mac five. Uh, he loves the show and he very rarely gives notes. He is, he is very much one of those guys that like, is not, he's not going to catch a mistake that's there. He's really just, he just loves it. And it's, right. just, it's good to give it to somebody who, you know, is going to enjoy it. Except for one note. No way. One note that he kept giving me over and over and over again. And he kept remembering it during random times and would just ask me and quiz me whether or not I had taken his note. Which is, in the psychic hurricane part of episode two, uh, uh, Alpha, he's like, you know, when they break in, add more sound effects. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, they're breaking in. Sound effects. A glass breaking, a door so being jammed just, open. Well, and, and by the way, this is like a big thing with the production style of this show because we do do a lot of sound effects. We do do a lot of atmospheric it, it, stuff. It's a rich soundscape. But there's a thin line when you are as active in the soundscape as we are between it being a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon where it's, uh. it's just like, hang, hang, boo. And he's like, like oh, just, just go and do it. So there's a few sound effects. See if you can spot them. And if you do hear them, spot them with your, with your ears. If you do know that you can thank Darren Kitchen for putting the Foley into the fucking psychic hurricane scene. So uh, one, of, one of the challenges with launching this is that uh, in the beginning, when we were doing the interviews, it, it felt, and you can correct me here on this, like we, we discussed what our aim was, but... You know, at the end of the day, Brian was going to be the one, you know, asking 
questions and so on. So, so it's like in that moment, I felt like I, you know, draw the story out. I have a job. I have a job. And then we had production and then that's, that's <laughs> Justin's job. Uh, then all of a sudden now we're in promotion and it's like, Oh, she is Brian's job now. <laughs> and so, uh, 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 hang on, let me do 10 more pushups. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, uh, so Brian has done an amazing job. The show launched fantastic. I can't. Oh, there, we go. there it is. Don't think you're having all the fun. You 120. Know me. 120 people. 120. He's at 120. Uh, Brian's done an amazing job with, with the uh, thing. And I think we can say here now, we haven't said it publicly anywhere else. Episode one and episode two have launched together, uh, launched bigger than anything any uh, world's greatest on episode has before. Thank you guys for that. Big round Yay. of applause. Thank uh, you guys. Uh, keep it up. Trust me. There is more shit. Uh, uh, episode three is my favorite. I said that in, in, in the green room, but uh, there's a moment. Trust me. You will know why the episode is entitled demonic by the time you listen to the episode next week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, what's demonic is freeloaders listening to this shit for free. Yeah. You know, uh, what would be angelic. Well, we should exercise them out of the demonic plane and have them cross that line. Oh, okay. This is, you want me to do more pushups. Right? <laughs> Everyone. And go to patreon.com slash great night again patreon.com slash great night get the bones episode uh bryce immediately started talking about become shots to an okay. ai chatbot yeah. on the bones okay look yes he did it if you want it look that, that's the content that's what we got to sell right yeah. we started talking about big cum shots so i'm just saying uh, like you could you could put a little bit of a positive spin on it that's not positive yeah. no None of us oh would, yeah, the very very good. None of us would be without come, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> and Bryce. When when one thirty? We're at one thirty. One thirty. One thirty out of uh, I I think it's two hundred. Was how many retweets? Six hundred. I think it was four hundred and fourteen. Yeah. Oh dear. Four one four. Uh, Bryce, we got a game. Hello, we do have a game. This is a bit of a blast from the past. This is a little game I like to call Buzz Click. Yay! Hooray! Buzz Yay. Click. Buzz click, get your ass to buzz click. <laughs> oh, there's a buzzing, clicking, buzzing, buzz click. I was throwing it to Bryce. Bum, bum, I literally I, I did my <laughs> Bryce, the Bryce finger. Bum, 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 Sorry, I'm trying to do some computer things like over here. A great <laughs> night podcast live now. <laughs> Sometimes you want to torture your co host so you start to sing a song and you make him sing along with Big Cum. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> was, was that Bryce? It was a mix of a lot of people did it. <laughs> many, many different people many, were a part of many it. Many people are saying, we've got the biggest cum, folks. We've got the biggest cum. <laughs> Biden's got a cum oh. so small. So, so small. small. Uh, great shame. <laughs> great shame. When, we, when I was president, a lot of cum. A lot of cum. <laughs> Bryce. So this is a game called Buzz Click. This is uh, a uh, name that tune style game. I'm going to give you the headline of a BuzzFeed listicle or a quiz or a game, something with a lot of numbers of things. And you're going to tell me how many of you uh, of those things you need to figure out the word that I've blanked in the headline. Uh, let's do an example. Okay. So, uh, 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 here we go. Uh, bum, bum, bum. If you had... Uh, 24 of 30 of these foods, you're truly a Northeastern blank. How many of the 24 do you need to figure out that blank? If you've had 24 of these foods, you're truly a Northeastern blank. Yankee? You're guessing how many no, answers uh, you need? Well, What's the number? How many of the 30 foods do we need to know to get that answer? You're going to bet down from 24. So I think, I, I, oh, I, I see. I, I see. I, see. I, 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 I got it. I got it. Hmm? Um, five. I need five. You know what? Uh, Justin, name that BuzzFeed headline. Ah, okay. Click that buzz. Click the buzz. Uh, bzz, bzz, bzz. I, big cum. 
<laughs> so much cum. So much cum. You're going to be coming so much, you're going to be tired of coming. <laughs> Biggest blades filled with my sperm. <laughs> filled with my gum. I love it. <laughs> That's uh, I fill it with a, I fill a slip and slide with it, and I'll go down like a big emperor penguin. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's it. That's a visual you'll have in your head for a very long time. <laughs> very long time. Very long time. Uh, okay, so Justin, you won the bet with five. I'm going to give you five of these things. You tell me what the blank is. Yep. Number one, I'm going to go uh, in order per the list here. Number one, apples and honey. Number two, babka. Number three, bagels. Number four, baklava. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number I five, got this one. blintzes. <laughs> All right. If you've had 24 of the 30 of these foods, you're truly a Northeastern blank. Jewish person. You're going to say Jewish person. We are looking for bum, bum, bum. Northeastern Jew. Hey. Happy Passover. Happy Passover. Happy Passover to the uh, chosen uh, people. Uh, by the way, real quick, everybody download World's Greatest Con while the ad is still there. Yet, oh, <laughs> what? Don't yeah. pass over. Oh, that. Brian did a manscape dad, and uh, uh, boy, it it was filled with puns. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's it sounds riveting. God bless Manscape. Ain't a lot of ad advertisers out here looking to throw money around. Uh, Manscape was one of them, so we celebrate them. Please use offer code WGC. <laughs> no bullshit. Please, if you are going, like, like we want conversions on this fucker. So yep. uh, uh, WGC at checkout. Uh, and holy shit, do they love puns. God, do they. Like, I think they just dare people to be like, don't say all these puns. Every sentence is a pun, and they're all about dicks and balls and nuts. Yep. There we go. Uh, dicks and balls and nuts. Uh, here's another one for you. Brian, you're going to start betting on this. Ready. Uh, you're going to bet down from 41. Oh, thank goodness. 41. Uh, what would uh, I'll give you the blank. Uh, if you do 29 of 41 of these things, you're a 20-something blank. How many yeah. of the 41 do you need? You know what? Uh, let's find out what my number is by me doing push-ups. We'll see what that is. However many push-ups I can do, that's my number. Okay. I'm at 120 right now. Here we sense. go. All right. I'm going to count it up. One. Oh, oh, see, he, his chest hit the ground. Two, three, there was four, real. Was five, there was six, seven, uh, six and a half. <laughs> seven, seven. That's seven. That's eight. 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 eight's my number. Eight, eight, eight. 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 I can eight. do it in eight. We'll, eight. We, eight's great. Go we'll, ahead. We'll take an eight bet. You're gonna let. You're gonna let him go on eight. No, I'm gonna go four. You're gonna go four. Ooh. Yeah. Brian, will you, will you beat four? Uh, in push ups? Right now? No. Four. Four? N uh, name that. Click that bait. Click that buzz. We're gonna click that buzz. All right. If you do 29 out of 41 of these things, you're 20 something blank. I'm gonna list them down in order. Here are your four. Number one Celebrate Passover. Insist. <laughs> number one Insist on being in bed by 10 p.m. at the very latest. Number two. Oh, God damn it. I already know. Feel it. concerned when you see someone without a coat during cold weather. Ah, uh, God damn it. Number three. Own more than one pair of, quote, sensible shoes. And number four. Get a thrill from buying nice homeware. If you do 29 of these things, you're a 20 something blank. Old person. Boomer. Say Boomer. Old person. All right. That was your answer. We were looking for. Bum, bum, bum. You're a 20 something grandma. Yeah. That's a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close enough. Yeah, you got that yeah, one. There you go. Yeah. All right. See, see we, got how, we got how this is going, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to do way fewer push ups. Okay. Uh, next one is out of 15. Uh, we are with this. 15 things you'll understand if you've ever eaten at a blank friend's house. <laughs> 15 is the bid. Mm. We're going to start with uh, nine. Got nine from Brian. Just by saying it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just nine. by saying it. Nine. Okay. Well, no, here we go. Nine. So, no. Oh, oh. Two. 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 <laughs> my answer is two. All right. Well, then, then go. Two. Yeah, yeah. One. Two. Come on. You want to buy yourself one more. Three. One more. Jeez. Come on. Four. I mean, come on. Get to nine. Five. 
five, 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 five. All right, Brian's yeah. betting five. One thirty-four. No. Yep. Mm -hmm. Justin, will you okay. bet? Will you beat five? five? Oh, I'll do four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brian, will you beat four? Three. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> four. You know what? Take it at four. <laughs> <laughs> he gives up the bet. All right. 15 things you'll understand if you've ever eaten at a blank friend's house. I'm going to list you the four things from the very top. Uh, oh, this is, uh, this is written in a way I was not expecting. Number one, when Mary Beth pulls out all her tricks. Number two, when you get to experience only the rarest of spices. Number three, when you have to pretend you're not dying inside. And number four, so you take one for the team because you're a nice, caring person. Fifteen things you'll understand if you've ever eaten at a blank friend's house. A vegan friend's house? Dustin is going to say a vegan friend's house. All right, we were looking for... Bum, bum, bum. A white friend's house! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! No boy. No boy. No boy. <laughs> no point on that one. Good guess though. <laughs> a white friend's house. <laughs> yeah, these were all what tweet. were the other? What were the other things that Keep happened going, at the Bryce. white friend's house? When they serve the chillest meal on the block, uh, and this is a tweet from at Matt Ox fan account. White people on Food Network be like chilled dihydrogen monoxide casserole. Oh. Um. Uh, there you go. Uh, Chilled water casserole. This yeah. is. I feel like I like like. And look, I love like I, I would say probably like twenty five. If I had my druthers, twenty five percent of my entire human diet would be joking about white people. Uh, we've reached peak white people jokes. If it's like Mary Beth pulls out all of her tricks. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this was one of them. When white people say, let's get Mexican food, this is what they mean. And that's just bright, I mean, isn't it? That's literally, just Bryce. That's Mexican, just me. I mean, but I mean that's, that's, that's Bryce people food. Bryce people. I'm mixed. Bryce people be Bryce like. Bryce people. Bryce people be loving Taco Bell. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. goodness. Bryce people having fun. Taco Bell belong for to everyone. everyone. Bryce people. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Brian, after a few rounds, what's the score? I think Brian's been driven loopy. Like, Say that again for me. Uh, it's a two for Justin. Uh, yep. And not a point for Brian. Ooh. Sounds right. Not a goddamn point. Unless we're counting push-ups, in which case it's like we're 129. It's like but 75. We're yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'll give you points for all 20 of those push-ups you did. Oh, oh, Jesus. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. That was news. That was a no point for Justin on this one. We're gonna lot go to of cum. <laughs> lot of cum. We got the best cum. Not lot of cum. Now drained and shriveled. <laughs> They're letting it's it over shame. the border. They're it's sending a shame. It it's a shame what we done. Back <laughs> when I was about balls that were heavy like grapefruits. <laughs> they were just, they were like, blur, blur, blur. <laughs> that was the sound of America. Wow. <laughs> During the Trump administration, Biden administration spent raisins. Uh, spent uh, raisins. So sad. Uh, uh, Very uh, sad. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Ex President, yes, uh, yeah. uh, Brian Brushwood, New York Times. Uh, the, uh, New York Times. <laughs> That's not the step. joke, Brett. Watch your step. <laughs> <laughs> Around me, watch your step. I'm liable to spirit at any Seems moment. Seems like that's an awful lot of ejaculate, man. Virile. Uh, <laughs> could you describe in vivid detail how it is that all this is extracted? <laughs> My <laughs> America. <laughs> Has got a hyd hydro pump. Have you ever seen Spider Man? We love Spider Man, don't we, folks? We love Spider Man. Spider Man, and I like I like all the Spider Men, but I like the Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire Spider Man, the, the best Spider Man. It was a very good Spider Man. We had we had a many many Spider Men in the last. It developed under Trump, by the way. <laughs> developed under Trump, the movie with all the Spider Men developed, making Spider Man great. Tobey Maguire shooting constantly. <laughs> All over the place. Remember that it was the previous trailer before 9 11. <laughs> Toby Maguire shoots so much spider cum that he catches an entire helicopter. They got rid of it. 
<laughs> they got rid of it after 9-11. It was, it was a commercial <laughs> yeah. for Spider-Man. Great. They got rid of it. I would not have gotten rid of it. He caught... Had so much cum between the two towers <laughs> that he caught a helicopter. <laughs> should have had it in the theater, <laughs> and we should have sent it to Bin Laden. If I were if I were president, I would have sent it to Bin Laden. I can't. I can't even plus that. <laughs> it was oh, perfect. Oh. All right, thank you, thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so next round here, we are going to bet down from 21. We're going to bet down from 21. The headline is 21 blank tips from people who have seen some shit. Folks, uh, what are we going to bet down from 21? Justin? 21. <laughs> Brian, what's your bid? <laughs> 19. <laughs> I mean, this is the bit, right? You know, right. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. I, you... I had something in my throat. What I meant to say was nine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, what I meant to say was <laughs> two. Okay. It's up to you. <laughs> you, you, you buy your guesses <laughs> on this all game. All right. Yeah. 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 Bryce, play the music. Okay. All the fun. You know me. I hate <laughs> He's flying on his belly, folks. Oh, no. Oh, he's oh can he get up? Can he get it up? One, one two, three, three four, five. four, four. Five, five, five is my bid. Uh, five. One hundred and thirty-four. Okay. All right. Brian says five. Justin? Four. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, will you bet down from four? You want to um, go three? I, yeah. I'm helping you. You have like 400 of these. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's really helping you do your homework. Right? Yeah, come on. One, two, three. Three. All right, he's got three. I know what comes next. <laughs> All right, Brian is taking a bet of three. Uh -huh. Justin, Robert Young, what did you bet? Oh, for sure, two. Okay, he's going to do two. Uh. Brian, do you need one? Can you do it with one? Can you do it in one? Can you do one? One and Justin, done? Robert Young, click that bait. All right, we're going to click that buzz. Justin, here's two blank tips from people who have seen some shit. Yep. Tip the one. Make sure that everyone involved actually wants to have a blank and that it's not just to make their partner happy. Oh, fuck. Number two. Mm. Also, make sure you have the right intentions and your relationship is solid because a blank isn't going to fix anything. 21 blank tips from people who have seen some shit. Justin, what is your guess? Yeah, it's either orgy or threesome, but, but let, let, let's just for, for safety's sake go with orgy. You're going to say orgy. Your answer is... Close enough, it was a threesome! Yeah. 21 threesome tips from yeah. people who have yeah. seen some shit. Yeah. This is the best game. I love this game. <laughs> this game fucking rules. Brian, you're doing a good job. <laughs> he's up Thank to you. 50. Thank he's you. up to 50 now? No one no, is quite he's... sure. Unfortunately. Yeah, I, I believe I'm at 143. Please let that be right. Okay. Okay. Many people are saying. Uh, Brian, you're going to bet first on this one. Ready. Uh, we are going to bet you down from 17. 17 everyday objects that are useless to blank people. One. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> Number one. All right. Well, you want to give you one. Zero. <laughs> You know what, Justin? Go for it. <laughs> Try it, man. I'll give you a free guess on this one. I'll give you a free zero. White people. <laughs> they're the men and women who have benefited from privilege. Uh, uh, Justin is wrong. On alabaster privilege. <laughs> but, but Bryce, if, if I may lock White. in. Well, White. I can give you your one. Uh, uh, my one. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? I don't even need my, need my one. I don't even need my one. Uh, rich. Okay. Rich. Rich people. You're gonna say rich people. Rich. Well, no. You should get one. You earned one. You did earn one. Yeah, get one. All right, give me one. Okay. You can't wear watches. It's impossible to reach the buttons because blank. Fat. Jesus okay, Christ. Wow. Rich too fat. I, like like you know the whale. You can't wear I watches. I don't know. Is that a thing that 
Yeah. But that was quick though for you. I, I, see, I was but trying you're to think also of like just surging with adrenaline, right? You've been I, doing I, I, nothing. He's pumped. He's You've so been doing pumped. Nothing but 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 push-ups. He's so looking vascular. at me. His Get, fucking traps are insane right now. Get, oh my god! Look at those pythons. Get, these fuckers are blowed up. Give give me the one clue this again. This dude is gassed. <laughs> you can't. This wear dude is jacked. This dude is thick. He's got ropes. <laughs> Look at this man. This man's got claws. Oh, he's pulling this rope. Man, this man, this man has got wings. He's got brass. This is brassed up. This man, this man's he's brass eyes off. This man's eyes shoot crimson lasers at all times. He has to wear crazy sunglasses. Are we like just Cyclops? describing mutants? No, I was just making up words. You said claws. I was making up words. Brass. Yeah. Just like I was trying to make up fake words that people would say about people who were in shape. Oh, no, that's not me. Uh, no, yeah, but that was the joke. Okay. Uh, oh, because glad, I'm, I'm not glad, in shape. That's, no, no, because no, you fucking have been doing push-ups because your arms do look big right now, and so I was just taking it to a funny degree. Well, thank you. Yeah. I knew that that would be the one thing he pulled out of that, Justin. Yep. Compliment. <laughs> I'm glad we pulled the emergency break on the comedy. <laughs> we figured this one out, boys. Sherlock Holmes up in this bitch. Uh, okay, so Justin said white. Ryan said fat. Uh, wait, uh, hold you want to change? You're welcome to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Read it again. Uh, you're one. You can't wear watches. It's impossible to reach the buttons because blank. Uh, the the blank. I'm I'm gonna tell you in this oh, one. Oh shit! No, no, no. It, it's it, I I think it's somebody on steroids. Somebody so jacked. Brassed up? That, that they can't do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yes, exactly what he said. I, I, I think it's uh, people a, who are an amazing. Up, yes, up. yes, yes. <laughs> All right. We got steroids and brassed up. <laughs> slash brassed up. Uh, we, Hashtag brassed up. <laughs> we were looking for 17 everyday objects that are useless to left handed people. Uh, That's no point. Uh, Left-handed people. That's Nature's yeah, that's brass. Fucking yoked. Look at this. Oh Look my goodness. That. Yeah. It's a damn that gun. Shit. It's a damn gun show in here. Damn fucking. Take take it from my cold dead torso. <laughs> my right. gun. Come and come and take it. Pointing up at Jesus. All right. After five fish rounds, what is the score? I do believe the. It, it's. Uh, you sure it's not three? Three does he? Oh yes, I believe it's. Uh, you're right. Hey! <laughs> First time for anything. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> layers of subtext there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for our final round of the game. Yeah. Whoa! Of course, this one's going to be worth, uh, let's say, a thousand points. Wow. So it's going to be big. Does he need to be doing that many push-ups? <laughs> I was afraid that was where that no. was going to go. <laughs> Thankfully not. Uh, you're going to be betting down from it seven. It would be so funny if this show went seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> you're going to be betting down from 17. The headline is 17 everyday upskilling. 17 picks that'll make your blank blank. 17 picks that'll make your blank blank. <laughs> Justin, can I have you bet first for me? 16. 16. <laughs> 16, Brian. Zero. He's taking a zero guess. Zero guess. Yeah. Do you want to go lower? <laughs> so what would what would be lower? Yeah. Like you you have to start I, feeding false information. <laughs> I have to make a fake you, you guess. You have to come up with fake clues. All right, let's. Uh, you you want to go lower? I'm going negative one. <laughs> All right, negative two. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to give you a push up? <laughs> yes, 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 you do. Yes, push up, push up, push up. Push up. <laughs> Get on it, my dude. Wish there was something real. Wish there was something Two. true. Three. Yeah. Not that hard. I don't know why you got treat it like it's that hard. That's not that hard. All right. So I think that's negative three for Justin. <laughs> Uh, Justin, here are your clues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a sad old woman. Mm. The Statue of Liberty. Okay. A child weeping. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the, the thing again, Bryce? 17 things that'll make your day blank blank. 17 picks that'll make your blank blank. Say, they, say the three again. Sad old woman. Yeah. The Statue of Liberty. 
a child weeping. That will make your word a day calendar. <laughs> Two blanks, three words. Word a day is all hyphenated. Okay. <laughs> so that's uh, one word. <laughs> yeah, one word. Bra yeah. Bryce, I. Calendar is the other word. I, I haven't seen any of these pictures, but I'm willing to place that it says uh, day better. 70 bucks that'll make, your... make your day better. Day better. Okay, now this is for a thousand points. This is for the whole game. Yeah, may yep. maybe we could see some of these picks. The whole game. And we'll figure out. Uh, what was your guess again? Uh, word a day calendar. Okay, that'll make your word a day calendar. All okay. right, we got some picks here for friends over at BuzzFeed. Uh, this is our first pick. All right. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm going to give you three here. This is one. I think, yeah, it, it's butt pucker. Here's number two. What is this? Uh, That's a cliff face with somebody... Going a, on the side of it? Is that a Jeep? Or maybe a, a goat? <laughs> oh, I think he's biking up there. Okay. Oh, and, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, man. At number three, not interested. Uh, this is like a first person POV. They're up at the top oh. of a gigantic oh. hill and they're just looking yeah. off. Feel that in my butt. I think it's butt pucker. I, yeah, I think it's butt pucker. Butthole lynched. pucker. Yeah. You're going to say butthole pucker. Yep. We were looking for bum, 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 17 pigs that'll make your butt cheeks clench. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, everyone wins. Yeah. 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 I got two things for you really quickly. First off, if you've got an idea for a game, please send it into our email address. That email address is greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this. Number two, uh, I want to give a thank you to uh, uh, the Discord partially for... Uh, uh, partially, not... not, not a full thank you. Not a full thank you, but I do want to give a thank you. It uh, counts. It counts. To uh, Kate Gray, who uh, mentioned this. We played this game in uh, God damn it. July God damn it. 18th, 2017. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck, you. Fuck you. Worst bit. Worst bit on this show. We did. Worst. We almost certainly did all of these questions that time. Uh, <laughs> so thank you very much for past Bryce for doing that yet again. They weren't ready for it. <laughs> And we're all <laughs> yeah. excited. For we're going to so. have to make this a thing where, like, it's going to be like win Bryce Stein's money. Where, like, <laughs> if we're able to name it, then we get paid. Because <laughs> uh, you can't just you can't just humiliate us. I mean, clearly he can. Yeah. And, does. and he will continue. Yep. And, I, yep. and I will continue to do so. The it. world's uh, greatest con. Look it up on the Apple Podcast feed of your choice. Uh, yes. Make sure to get us. Uh, uh, wouldn't it be great if we hit number one in history? Uh, yes. No. Uh, 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 here's, here, here's the biggest thing. Listen to it. If you like it, we would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate if you told a friend. Tell somebody that likes science, that likes magic, that likes... Cons that likes the concept of human frailty or that likes well produced stuff. If they like Radio Lab, if they like this American life, this is something that I think that they're very much going to enjoy. Uh, here's a bit of a called shot. Literally, ask everybody you know do you know the story of Project Alpha? And when they say yes, say the words buckle up and hand them this because I thought. I knew the story of Project Alpha, and the actual story we uncovered is not the canonical story that and, everybody and, knows. And by the way, the vast majority of the people that you will ask that question will say no, <laughs> and so yeah. then double, hand it to them faster. Uh, uh, we actually were in contact with somebody who's in the skeptic community. I don't want to out them just yet, but like uh, he very much knows about this project, and... He uh, was surprised. Was thrilled to listen to the show and was asking very, very pointed questions about where it's going to go because uh, he was fascinated by it. And that dude knows everything about it. So uh, uh, please, please, please spread the word. Uh, I, I cannot say this enough. Social media is great. We're obviously having a, a whole lot of fun with it here tonight with Brian's push ups. But. No bullshit. Please, please, please either call on the phone or at the very least text message and just say, well, I would really, I think you would love this experience. Uh, we believe it's good enough. We will not let you down with the ending. Trust me, we land the plane, uh, but please spread the word on this. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, hey, Brett, what did we learn today? Mm -hmm. Hey, Brian. <clears throat> First of all, we've oh, learned skirts. Yay! Yeah! 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 Second of all, we've learned that if you uh, 
You really should check them brakes before you take your street jeep. And the airbag. And the airbag. And the airbag. I'm going to replace it. Your street jeep on an adventure with your wife. Uh, I am not okay. Also, uh, Brian, you sure can do them push-ups. A lot of push-ups. What was your total? 700. No. And uh, wow, what memories you guys have. And uh, and I just like to say uh, regarding world's greatest con, I have told friends. Hey. Hooray! Yay. Be like Weaver. Be like Weaver. For uh, once in your lives. Be like Weaver. What what a, what a nutty adventure! But it's still been a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. <laughs> Pose down. You One forty-seven. One forty-seven. Enjoyed this broker. <laughs>